Okay, family. Hear, hear me out on this one. Critical thinking exercise for today. I want you to think about two, two things. You are perfectly designed for the results you get. And the life of a leopard. You're perfectly designed for the results you get and the life of a leopard. So let's talk about leopards first. Leopards are the strongest of all the big cats on our planet today. They're so strong, in fact, that they carry their prey up into the trees to eat. But if you're the strongest of the big cats, why would you do that? And it's because they protect their prey from other big cats like lions, right? And other predators like hyenas. So leopards spend their times up in the trees. They are also one of the most elusive big cats on the planet. So for you to see one is, is pretty rare. It's a pretty big deal, right? So if you want to find one, look for one, look up in the trees is where you should find a leopard. Now let's switch gears and talk about design. So being from Detroit, I'll use a, an automotive example. If I have a, a hunk of metal that goes through arguably three miles of track that touches 300 pairs of hands, that hunk of metal, when it crosses the finish line, we would say is a car. But what if that car is missing a door? Is there anything wrong with the car? I would argue that there's not. It's actually perfect. What I would wonder is how are we designed that would allow a hunk of metal to go three miles of track and touch 300 hands and be missing a door? So what does leadership do? They hire a door inspector. Instead of looking at the system that allowed for this thing to go three miles of track without a door, they put resources into hiring somebody responsible for making sure there's four doors on a car. Why am I tying these two things together? I am increasingly concerned that some of the things we're doing to address what's going on both internally in our organizations and externally in our communities are absolutely missing the point. So I'll go back to the design first. I would wonder about our organizational culture that would allow for thoughts, attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors to permeate throughout the organization and then wonder why in an employee satisfaction survey, people are dissatisfied with how they feel related to their race or gender or sexual orientation. How does that happen? And then we go and hire a vice president of diversity and inclusion, which ironically I'm all in favor of, but not if the culture of the organization does not allow that role to make a significant impact. You might as well hire door inspectors, which allows for 300 hands to touch a piece of metal without a door. Hiring a vice president of diversity and inclusion does not make your organization diverse and inclusive. If there is no parallel component to creating a culture that allows for this role to be effective, then what was the point? Which is why it made me think about leopards. You keep shaking these trees and a leopard falls out with no plan for what to do with it, then everybody gets mauled. The solution is not to have a leopard trapper standing under trees. What you gonna do with it? So, as we're thinking about what's happening in our community and we're thinking about what's happening in our organizations and we're looking at how to respond to feedback, please be thinking about what happens when you ask me how I feel about working here. Please 
think through what you are going to do with the feedback if I ask you or if I respond to the question, Alonzo, do you feel like you belong here? And if I say no, then what? The solution is not an automatic inspector. The solution is not an automatic animal trapper. I want us to be thinking big picture, long term. Otherwise, we do more harm than good. And this is for everybody, not just the leadership. It's the team members, it's the community members. Be careful about the information you're seeking, the feedback you think you want. If you haven't thought long term about what you plan to do with it and the culture in which this has been allowed to thrive in the first place. With that, I hope this message finds you well, finds you safe, finds you patient, finds you diligent, finds you thinking. Have fun with this one. Think about your role. Think about what you're asking and being asked to do. Think about the most immediate and the long-term impact and effect of it. Have a good day, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.